Yo, what is good guys, genix 2 here, and welcome back to another Smash Ultimate discussion video. In this video, we're going to be talking about what I think about the Squad Assault new mode in Smash Ultimate, and, you know, how it could be utilized in competitive, if it can be competitive, and all that jazz. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, it means a lot, and also subscribe if you want to see more content, leave a comment down below. What do you think of Squad Assault? And also, what do you think of anything I say in this video? And also, leave any suggestions of video, like anything I can talk about. Um, I, I I should have a video up every day of the week from like now until like Sunday, I think. So you know, just keep out on that. If you don't want to miss that, make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any uploads that I produce. But without further ado, let's go on to the video. So for Squad Assault, I think Squad Assault has hella potential. This mode like the mode as itself is just dope it's really cool because it basically it basically like kind of can sh it, it can be a way to showcase characters that you play like your mains and also your secondaries or like your fun characters and all that it, it's really cool it's basically you know just or you could use it as like actual crew battles like how you can rotate between people you can either use it as a crew battle or you can use it as basically your three characters versus somebody else's three characters or your five characters versus somebody else's five characters kind of like uh iron man but you don't um it's kind of like an iron man but it's not like you can um choose how many characters you want and it's not like you can like you can I, i'm pretty sure you can choose like the same character probably more than once like you can have three clouds versus three clouds or three bales versus three clouds or you know something like that but the mode as itself is really cool like like i never expected we would see something like this come out from sakurai but you know sakurai he keeps impressing us every single day and it's fucking amazing man i love that dude man i love sakurai we all gotta appreciate sakurai for this amazing game we call smash brothers man we got we gotta let's clap it up for sakurai let's clap it up for him but anyway um for squad assault i think squad assault can bring a new a brand new dynamic for a competitive smash for a viewer and also a competitor because i feel like you know some people just get tired of the norm three stocks or whatever stocks time and then you have your stages and then you fight 1v1 i think that squad assault will bring a whole new bright a whole brand new dynamic because now you get to go against somebody else's three characters versus your three characters and you and a and a good a good like thing to note is that you know if this was competitive, I really hope that people cannot just do like oh triple cloud triple bay like one person do that. So basically, um, if, if I remember, I'll leave it in the description below or in the comments. But Nairo, Pierce, DM, Brendan, Trihex, um, Shofu, and uh, like hella people after the Nintendo Direct, they were just talking about it and they they, they did an amazing discussion, basically talking about everything in the game. And one of the main things that they talked about was Squad Assault. And basically, what they were saying was in competitive, they could make it like this: one person goes, you have two people, right? And the first person choose their three characters, and another person choose their three characters. But they all like not all the characters have to be different. Like say I'm going against like like uh anti me versus anti in the squad assault so i can choose zero suit uh cloud and chrome those are going to be my three characters and anti can choose like mario zero suit cloud like 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 we could use the same characters we just can't repeat like i can't do like cloud cloud zero suit he can't do like bayo bayo mario something like that we can only do like bayo mario cloud you know, you can only have one of each character on each team if you guys, you know, get what I'm saying. So it's like, you know, that's really good because, like, you get tired of seeing, oh, Bayo versus Bayo, Cloud versus Cloud, Cloud versus Zero Suit. It will bring a brand new dynamic because now you can see, like, Bayo versus cloud if the bail beats the cloud the bail has to go against mario if the bail loses to the mario the mario has to go against bowser you know something like that it would be really cool but i feel like in terms of like if there's like a really like really good top tiers um um in the game a lot of people would probably have that top tier in their squad but still it would be different you know you you have that one top tier or 
many top tiers and then you might have like that one you know or one or two crazy characters so in competitive i don't think we'll see 5v5 5v5 will be too much 3v3 is already a bit much because i feel like like imagine evo right evo for smash ultimate will probably have like maybe like like 1700 um attendance so imagine 3v3 brackets imagine how long that'll take that's the only big reason why i don't want to see squad assault as the main and also what i mean a main event a main event i mean as in are we gonna see this on the evo grand stage you know on sunday whatever time are we gonna see 3v3s on the big stage that's what i mean as main event but anyway like i feel like it would just take forever and as evo evo is a tournament that has many fighting games and i feel like in a they, since excuse me <laughs> since um they don't even have doubles they don't have doubles for both melee and smash 4 and the reason why they don't have doubles is because they don't have a lot of time and a lot of a lot of space to be catering to all these side events because since they have all these other fighting games it's going to be really hard to you know cater to um you know other side events so i think the only problem with squad assault is that it'll take too long and also it'll, it'll take too long and like it'll force people to play other characters but overall i think the mode is really dope what i like to see in the main competitive state of um ultimate no because i think it will force people to play characters that they might not want to play since you know what if i only like zero suit and ultimate then i would have to play zero suit and other characters because it'll yes it'll make my selection um brought like better but at the same time it's like i'm i'm literally forced to play characters that i don't have like that i have to play i have to play like different characters because i have to be in this event but anyway you know that's really it that i have for uh the squad assault discussion if you guys you know let me know down below what do you think of squad assault do you think it should be competitive and also hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more content and also hit the bell if you don't want to miss out on any other future uploads that i produce with, with that you know squad assault is really dope um i it's really cool it will be a super, super, super dope side event, but as a main event, yeah, you, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to see me on another day about that one. But yeah, I don't think it'll be a side event because it'll basically force people to play other characters that they don't want, and also it'll take time. Like running 3v3 events will be forever. Like it'll just take so freaking long. But with that, you know, that's it. That 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 was basically the TLD. Um, TLDR version of what I had to say But with that, that's it for this video And I'll see you guys in the next one, peace